lovely friends welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today we are going to make our second resin art i have used a resin many times to give a protective layer kind of varnish to my art and paintings but to use it as a medium is a really a great idea so in this video friends we will be using different resin pigments from metallic colors to transparent and translucent colors and we will also be pouring two layers of resin to see how the different pigments work with each other and what effect do we get from the second layer of resin pour so friends please to watch the whole video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video i post every week all the materials needed to make this beautiful resin art are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them so let's start the video now friends now firstly we're going to start by measuring the resin so let's place the cup and check the measurement as a zero so now first of all you have to check the mixing ratio which is given on the bottle so it says the mixing ratio is a three to one mixing ratio that means three parts of part a which is a resin so i'm going to pour 30 grams of a resin in my cup when you're going to reach the nearby value just use a ice cream stick in this way and wait till it comes 29 30 and stop there itself so you can see that i have got 31 i'm going to reduce a little amount of resin in this way this is exact 30 now so 3 is to ratio is going to be 30 grams of resin and 10 grams of hardener which is the part b so very carefully add 10 grams okay which in all makes it 40 30 grams of raisin and 10 grams of hardener now using the same ice cream stick give it a very good mix in the bottle as it has said that it is auto release a bubble formula so you don't have to worry about the bubbles and you have to mix the resin and hardener mixture for at least 10 minutes okay so i'm going to do it after mixing the resin and hardener for 10 minutes we have got the perfect consistency so now i'm going to divide it in different cups so as i have mixed uh, the main part in white so you were unable to see the exact thing what happened so now i'm going to divide this in different parts and i'm going to use the transparent cups for this as we're going to mix colors this time So using an ice cream stick, you have to pick up the pigment in this way. Just a little bit is also enough. And then mix it with your resin in this way. So first of all, I'm going to mix white. As these pigments are specially made for resin, so they mix very well with the resin. Okay, so here we have got white. Aquamarine. If you use a little quantity, it can give you a transparent look and if you use a lot of pigment, that will give you an opaque look. So this is how you can create both of them. So we have got beautiful aquamarine color. The detail. So I'm going to scrape some color from the cap itself. This is the first metallic color I'm going to use. So mix it really well. I think I may have to use some more. Okay, this is perfect. Take some of the peacock blue color. Okay, wow, this is a beautiful color. We have got this one also. And now, finally, I'm going to take some gold. Mix it very well. Okay, so now we are ready for pour. This is our aquamarine color, peacock blue metallic, midnight blue metallic, white and gold. So as we are going to start from the simplest, so I am going to pour some dark metallic which is the midnight blue in the center. Okay, 
I would like to level out a little bit using the ice cream stick then the peacock blue also level the peacock blue with the help of ice cream stick mix just a little bit with the midnight blue metallic color then add the aquamarine then add the aquamarine color and then finally add white now adding some more of the aquamarine color in this part I'll do the same again I'm going to smooth out the green aquamarine green and the red part do the same with the side I'm going to add more amount of white in this part and then add a little bit in this part and now friends I'm going to start my most important part in which I'm going to mix my colors using the palette knife first so I'll spread them mix them in this way spread them and then slightly bring one on other in this way a very gentle and simple process wipe your palette knife and then start mixing the aquamarine with blue okay I feel and these are good using my torch i'm going to torch them just a little bit in this way blow out the bubbles If you do a force filling torch, you will see that the colors will start mixing. I'll show you for this part. Over torch your resin. So this is the effect you get of lacing when you do the torching. You can simply use your palette knife and mix few colors very easily. What you want to do for this part. And this is the main part where you can play easily with the colors. I do want some of the white to go beyond. And now friends, I just simply want to blow the resin from part to part. I'll pour my final white, a line of white from both the sides. Make sure that your colors are mixing well. So now friends, I'm satisfied by the mixing of colors. This is how I want it to be. I want it to look. So now I'm going to add some gold. So I'm going to add gold in some parts, not all. And I don't want any different kind of placing or something. Okay, this is beautiful. This corner. I just want to spread out some gold in this way. I'm randomly going to uh, blow that gold. Okay, and I think it looks fine and beautiful as it is. So now friends, my final step is going to be just pop out the bubbles using the heat gun and use just a little bit to pop out the bubbles, okay? Don't use too much, that will cause the lacing effect and that is what we don't want right now okay so this is perfect now we are going to wait for 24 hours and let it get dry now after 24 hours our first layer of resin have got dried up and so beautiful smooth it looks it also has that shiny glass look and smooth coating so now friends i have thought to give it 
a little bit of more brightness by adding a bright gold color on the top so for that i'm going to measure 15 grams of a resin and i'm going to add 5 grams of hardener which will make it 20 so now we have finally got 5 grams of hardener so it completely makes 20 so now give it a very good mix till at least 10 minutes now as my mixture is ready i'm going to pour some amount in a small size of cup and then add some gold pigment in it i'm using expo kohinoor gold metallic gel so this is how it looks and then mix it very well with the resin with a very nice mix okay so now my gold mixture is ready so i'm going to just use this ice cream stick and draw some light zigzaggy wavy patterns using it I think it is perfect so now it's time to pour some clear resin to mix it very well in this way and then add it to the empty spaces scrape out all of it so now friends i have finally completed spreading the clear resin on the top and i have also mixed gold with it in few parts so now finally it's time to blow a little bit of torch on the complete resin to pop out if there is any bubble just a little bit of torch okay so i think it's finally done so now we will let it get dry and i'll show you after 24 hours after 24 hours our second layer of a resin pour has also got dried up and i'm really really glad that i have made the second layer of pour because that is what makes this art piece look three-dimensional the dark pigments give a deeper look whereas the lighter pigments like white and the aquamarine color it uplifts the view of art it looks much more deep than the original piece is the colors perfectly give a very good depth as well as the upliftment because of the second layer of pouring is really amazing i would love to make a more resin art using this medium now let's discuss the resin pigments we have used about the metallics if you can closely observe from our first layer of pour the metallic colors are really heavy and they went to the bottom of the pour so that's the reason you are unable to observe the midnight blue and the peacock green whereas the other pigments really work very well which is the aquamarine color and the white color but i was expecting the metallic color to uplift and to give that glittery effect so in my next pour i'll surely keep it in mind and as you can see i have done a second layer of four in which i have used clear resin and i have also used a little bit of gold with it to give that shiny and lusty look the scheme really goes well with everything just by adding a little bit of gold it uplifts your artwork and truly it is giving a three-dimensional look in all i just love the complete pour and the shading i have got it has also given me a rough idea when to use what color and how can i mix both the colors if you torch the pigments you will pop up the bubbles but if you over torch the pigments they will start getting foggy so if you want that kind of effect you can over torch and if you don't want that kind of effect you just want every color to look clear so don't over torch your resin and friends one more amazing thing i have got to know if you're using just one pigment with the resin for example the golden you can also get a lacy effect when you over torch the pigment so in my next video friends we are definitely going to try the seascape so i'm going to try different types of a seascape from the deep sea to the beach to the shore where the shells are washing away and we are also going to try that a midnight black sea look with the deep blue tint that is my favorite so one by one we are going to make each one of them so friends please do subscribe my channel to watch more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video i post every week 
please do tell me in the comments below how did you like my videos friends enjoy your day and do try making a new resin art